been down the hard road Made it to the other side Gonna take my way And turn the tide Gonna take a little time I don't mind As long as I got you, yeah I'll get by When I see you in the morning light I know things are gonna be alright, yeah, yeah Oh yeah, a future looking bright, yeah, yeah You take what I come, walk out in the morning light So let me follow you down with a lead You got what I want, yeah You got what I need You got the kind of love, yeah So hard to find Don't leave me waiting Don't pass me by When I see you in the morning light I know things are gonna be alright, yeah, yeah Oh yeah, our future burning bright, yeah, yeah Take while I've come, walk out in the morning light Let your love light shine Just down on this heart of mine Burns brighter each and every time When I see you in the morning light I know things are gonna be alright, yeah, yeah Oh yeah, future burning bright, yeah, yeah Take while I come, walk out in the morning light I said, take what I come, walk out in the morning light. 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 Everybody. My name is Hamish Anderson and I'm very happy to be here today with Acoustic Guitar Magazine talking to you about the song I just played which is uh, my song Morning Light and that's the acoustic version of Morning Light. The single that I have out now is totally different. It's uh, all electric guitar and very much you know about fuzz pedals and big drums and kind of influenced by like Mark Bolan and John Lennon and some stuff like that. Um, but I really love when, you know, songs have two versions, like, you know, what Eric Clapton did with Layla or, you know, a lot of artists do that when they kind of recreate their own work. Um, so the acoustic version of Morning Light, I also really enjoy playing. And today I'm very lucky to, uh, be using and to own this guitar, um, which is a great, beautiful guitar. It's a Martin and it's a triple O 28 M. Um, Eric Clapton signature model that I'm just incredibly lucky to own and it's a beautiful guitar that you know you just put a microphone in front of it and it always sounds great it's just very very rounded 
and its sound. And it's got a really nice sparkly sound to it. It's kind of bright, but it's still, it just sounds really nice. Um, it's a great size as well. I kind of like the smaller bodied acoustics and it's just very comfortable to play. Um, so yeah, really great guitar. And um, yeah, for the acoustic version of Morning Light, I was kind of, you know, I, I wrote the song, it's a hopeful song um, with a positive message that, you know, it's sort of about the hope that a new day can bring and whatever it is that gets you through that day. And um, for the acoustic version, you know, unlike the electric version, when I was listening to the stuff I mentioned before, for the acoustic version, I think I was listening to a lot of Cat Stevens and Simon and Garfunkel and George Harrison and stuff that really kind of, you know, a lot of the times people like Paul Simon and George Harrison would use the capo, um, which kind of gets you out of playing all the standard stuff that you usually play. Um, so I'm, I'm in the key of A, but basically you'll notice that on acoustic guitar, a lot of the time I tune down a whole step because I find that then, you know, instead of this being an E or the low string, it becomes a D. And there's just something about that tuning which I find really interesting and I think works really well with my voice and my range. And I got that from listening to a lot of, like I think particularly Paul McCartney would do that a lot. He did that, I think on Blackbird and he would do it on certain songs with wings and throughout the Beatles. And it's just really interesting. It gives, it kind of makes the acoustic guitar sound fuller. So when you're playing by yourself, it kind of, to me, gives it a bit of a bigger sound. Um, so yeah, as I said, I'm in the key of A. So usually if you're in standard tuning, you put the capo on the second fret. But here we are at the fourth. And it's really very simple. It's, it's you know, a lot of standard chord shapes. You're kind of G chord shape. And then doing that kind of suspended stuff. That's a big part of it, you know. Which is, you know, very kind of Paul Simon territory. Um, you know, you're using a lot of those standard shapes, C, A minor, G, D, you know, it's really about the rhythm in the right hand, you know, um, you can really kind of play around with that song, and using all those little shapes that kind of ring out so nicely when you're using a capo because everything kind of drones and sounds so full. Um, so yeah, you can play around with that. And even, you know, if you're a songwriter, sometimes I find putting a capo on, it just gives you a whole kind of new realm of stuff to work with and you can come up with some really interesting things. So yeah, check it out. And please, if you want to do a cover of Morning Light, I'd love to hear it. And I hope it maybe helps you, you know, inspire something out of you. So thank you.